The 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan will be the flagship of the German automaker's electrified future, and it looks to be one of the fanciest EVs ever. The S-Class of the EQ lineup, it's aimed squarely at the Tesla Model S in size and range, but loaded with far more luxury features, running the gamut from the dashboard-spanning hyperscreen to the rejuvenating nap mode. Today, we'll take a look inside the new Mercedes EQS and explain why it's so special. Welcome to Tech Archives. Luxury Interior Inside, the EQS is lined with beautiful, high-quality materials and outfitted with countless luxury amenities. The roster of desirable features includes extensive ambient interior lighting, headrest pillows for front and rear passengers, and an executive rear seat package. The latter includes adjustable back seats with massage functions, neck and shoulder heating, and an individual tablet to control the MBUX infotainment system. Still, the most notable option is what Mercedes calls Hyperscreen, a giant wall-to-wall -wall panel of glass that stretches across the instrument panel and encompasses the infotainment system. While this digitized dashboard looks futuristic, the EQS does come standard with a more traditional dashboard. Thanks to a completely flat floor, as well as a lengthy 126.4-inch wheelbase, the EQS has a spacious interior. Cargo space also looks to be especially generous thanks to its large hatchback and useful front trunk. Hyperscreen The so-called hyperscreen, a 56-inch wide concave glass panel with three integrated OLED screens making up the entire dashboard, is a showstopper. But it's not the only option. It's actually an optional upgrade on the EQS 450 and standard on the 580. And you get a lot for your money, which is good because even though we don't know the price yet, it can't be cheap. The digital instrument cluster behind the steering wheel portion measures 12.3 inches, as does a touchscreen in front of the front passenger. Between them is a massive 17.7 inch infotainment touchscreen. The massive panel is impressive, especially the way it curves out at the bottom. With no transmission to house, the hyperscreen connects to the center armrest by an arched console with storage space below, a metal inlaid wood cover on top, and more touch-sensitive controls for the stereo and driving modes surrounding a physical starter button. The screens run the next generation of MBUX software, and it's loaded with features. The Hey Mercedes digital assistant is far more smarter now and uses artificial intelligence to study your routines and make suggestions, such as turning on the seat and steering wheel heaters, phoning a friend you often speak with, or pulling upcoming events from your calendar or to-do list. It will also bring up specific vehicle function controls when it thinks you need them, such as remembering when you've previously used the vehicle lift function to clear a speed bump, or a steep driveway, and popping up the digital button when the obstacle is nearby. Special Easter egg buttons will occasionally pop up, offering little surprise features like Tesla does. Specs and Performance The shape, along with 19-inch wheels and power-retracting door handles, allows the aerodynamics team to get a 0.20 coefficient of drag, which Mercedes is claiming beats both the Lucid Air and Tesla Model S for slipperiest in the world. The base EQS 450 Plus will be rear-wheel drive, powered by a single rear-mounted, permanently excited, synchronous electric motor. The more powerful EQS 584 Matic will have standard all-wheel drive provided by front and rear-mounted e-motors. The 450 model is rated at 329 horsepower and 406 pound-foot of torque, while the 580 makes a combined 516 horsepower and 611 pound-foot of torque and will hit 60 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds. Top speed is limited to 130 miles per hour to preserve range. Mercedes estimates that the rear-wheel drive variant will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds. Opting for the more powerful all-wheel drive model is said to drop the 0 to 60 time to 4.1 seconds. Mercedes EQ is touting a driving range of up to 478 miles on the more generous WLTP test cycle used elsewhere in the world. America's stricter EPA test cycle will likely knock that number down below 400 miles, especially since we don't get the 19-inch wheel option necessary to achieve maximum range. The EPA number will be released closer to the on-sale date, and it remains to be seen whether it'll out-road trip the 380-mile Model S. Every EQS rides on an adaptive air suspension and rolls on rims that range in size between 19 and 21 inches. Standard rear axle steering system can angle the rear wheels up to 4.5 degrees, 
and there's an optional upgrade that can turn them 10 degrees. This technology is intended to both make the 205.4 inch long sedan easier to maneuver in tight spots and increase its stability at high speeds. Range, charging, and battery life. Both EQS models get their power supply from a lithium ion battery pack with a usable capacity of 107.8 kilowatts per hour. While Mercedes hasn't released the sedan's EPA rated driving range, the automaker estimates it'll be good for about 478 miles based on the less taxing European WLTP test cycle. We expect the more conservative EPA rated number to exceed 300 miles of range. Able to take a 200 kilowatt charge from a DC fast charger, the EQS can regain 186 miles of range in just 15 minutes. A Model S can charge at a rate of up to 250 kilowatts. Getting the battery up from 10% to 80% takes 35 minutes. The car can be equipped with an optional 9.6 kilowatt onboard charger to make the most out of your 40 amp home charger or public L2 charger and fill the battery in 11 hours. Public charging will be made easy by the plug and charge system which is compatible with 90% of US public charging networks. This software allows you to simply plug in and walk away without having to worry about membership or credit card readers. All billing will be handled automatically with a credit card on file. Getting to the chargers will be handled by an onboard navigation system that considers everything from real-time traffic to topography, weather, and driving style when planning and adjusting your route to string charging stops together as efficiently in both driving and charging time as possible. Anywhere within range of your current charge is displayed on the map by dynamic bounding lines that take into account where there are actually roads. The all-new 2022 EQS is the first Mercedes to utilize a platform exclusively designed for EV models. It also is the first fully electric vehicle from the company's EQ sub-brand to be offered to the US market. It's expected to be followed by a fleet of new electrified models that include the Squat EQA and Boxy EQB subcompact crossovers, as well as the EQE entry luxury sedan. Although we know that the 2022 EQS will be available in two different trim levels, Mercedes hasn't announced the pricing for either one yet. The 2022 EQS will go on sale in the US this fall, and more information about range and pricing will be released as the date nears. Don't expect it to come in under $100,000. After all, the S-Class, which starts at $95,000, isn't this nicely equipped out of the gate. The 300 Special Edition 1 models will cost more and offer special paint and wheels. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this.